The one-half-mile track at the Victoria Park Fairgrounds in Owen Sound has been carefully groomed for the past two weeks, and this weekend, snowmobiles will be scooting by at speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. The Georgian Cup snowmobile races now rank as one of the seven major North American races on a circuit that brings more than 125 drivers into the competition. A hometown crowd in Owen Sound will have their eyes on local competitors Andy and Peter Van Dolder of Annan, the Flying Dutchman racing team. They arrived at the track Wednesday to begin practice runs and get machinery set. Racing will take place Saturday, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then the final races will be held Sunday afternoon. Don Alexander reporting from Owen Sound. Andy, what kind of competition are we going to see here this weekend? Well, you're going to see the very best that there is in snowmobile racing, Don. It's what we call uh, Snow Pro. And uh, this is boys from all over the Midwestern United States, New York, Michigan, and all over Canada. And uh, these are the top caliber racers with some really exotic machinery. They got twin track machines, they got stuff that looks like Formula One cars, and just some real trick stuff for snowmobiles. How does this Owen Sound race uh, pack up on the circuit? How does it rank? This is uh, one of the seven top races now in North America. It's only seven appearances that Snowpro will make in North America, one being here and one being in Peterborough, which is still a little controversial, Peterborough. So we're hoping uh, this one here is going to over overtake Peterborough this year because uh, the crowd's really geared up and all the competitors are coming. I'm looking for a great weekend. Some of the machines that we'll see here, uh, Peter, on the weekend, uh, how do they differ from the run-of-the-mill machine, and what are some of the modifications we see? Well, they're quite a bit different. Uh, these machines uh, that we're going to be running this year, uh, we run in a formula class. What they are is 340cc modified. They have tuned pipes. The clutches are modified on them. And uh, the biggest difference, I would say, from a regular machine would be the, the suspension on them. They have what they call an independent front suspension where the left and the right ski is independent from the chassis and the rear suspension is the same way. What kind of speeds will we see this weekend? You're looking at, at over 90 miles an hour on this half mile track here this weekend. The weekend races were highlighted by competition in the two elite classes for snowmobile racing, Formula and Snow Pro. Both have 340 cc engines but the Snow Pro saw some entries from Bombardier's revolutionary new twin track machines. The Formula One for the Georgian Cup was won by Jim Dimmerman of the United States. He beat out second place finisher Peter Van Dolder, who had won that cup event in the past three years. Running third in Formula One was Gary Vasseur of Honey Harbor. Vasseur was the winner of the Snow Pro race. He was clocked at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. The twin track machines entered in the Snow Pro event were troubled by equipment and a worn slushy track that slowed the heavy machines. In other events, Peter Van Dolder won the Super Mod Finals both Saturday and Sunday. The pro stock for unmodified sleds saw Ted Harshman of Sabo Beach first on Saturday for the Fluker Cup. On Sunday, Ken Abin of Keswick was first in the pro stock. Andy Van Dolder won sprint competition in 540 class Saturday and Sunday. The snowmobile races were organized by the Owen Sound East Side Snowmobile Club and sanctioned by the Ontario Snowmobile Racing Federation. Don Alexander reporting from the Grey Bruce Bureau.